I quite like the four cylinder 718s, but I fully understand those that mourn the loss of the six cylinder engine. Thankfully, Porsche has something for us. It's called 718 Cayman GT4 and it's twin, the Boxster Spider. At the heart of these twins is a new four litre flat six engine. It's based on the three litre twin turbo engine in the 911 Carrera, but there are no turbos here. So it revs 8,000 RPM. It almost doesn't matter that it's got 420 horsepower, 420 newton meters of torque. It's all about that high revving, noise, everything. Now, something else, it's bolted to a six speed manual gearbox. It's the only gearbox offered in this car, kind of emphasizing that this is the driver's option. Now, Porsche hasn't just dropped a fancy new engine in the middle of these cars. It's gone to town on the chassis as well. So it's lower, it's got two stage adaptive damping, it's got a mechanical limited slip differential on the rear. And actually, the Cayman GT4 comes with a mechanical adjustability as well for the geometry. As standard, these cars come with steel brakes and they're pretty mighty actually on the road. But if you're gonna go on track a lot, you're probably better off going for the PCCB ceramic brakes and they're sensational. Porsche's done a pretty substantial job in the interior too. In start with you can see you've got this Alcantara rimmed wheel, bespoke instruments, a uh, lovely short shift gear change and in this Cayman GT4 it's actually got the club sport package. So you've got the roll cage, you've got these beautiful deep bucket seats which hold you in place. Now on top of all that, all these buttons in the centre console are very important. He's got one for the sports exhaust, there's the auto blip, there's one for the dual stage damping and then there's two buttons for the ESC system. You can put it in the middle or turn it fully off. Now, as I mentioned, got the naturally aspirated engine, the manual gearbox, and a rather special chassis. Um, on track, it's just sensational. Huge engagement, but the best thing about it is that you actually have to concentrate and get the most out of it. Now, you can be lazy. Um, it's quite a torquey engine, four liters and all that. And actually, it's even got an auto blip function, which uh, <laughs> if you're a bit lazy with your heel and toe, it'll down, when you're down changing, it'll blip the throttle for you. Best thing is, of course, that you can just turn that off, which is good. So it's got this two-stage damping. Now, on the road, earlier in the Boxster in particular, there's no point going for the firmer damping. It's just too much. As it is, it's a very, very firm car on the road. Um, the best thing is that the two-stage damping means you can drive it on track and it's well capable of that. It's also got a sports exhaust that you can switch on and off. So if you're going to be nice to your neighbours, I guess. but. You know, it is a, a car to be driven and to be heard, and with that natural aspirated six cylinder engine, you want to hear it. This isn't, as I said earlier, just 718 with the engine dropped in the middle, special engine. This is, is a lot more, there's a whole chassis overhaul going on here. It's so immediate, the steering's so immediate, the throttle response is so immediate. It's got that limited slip differential on the back, which just slingshots you out of corners. If you're a bit more confident um, on, and if you have room to play on track it's worth turning off the AC system completely and it's not like it turns into a power sliding mess or anything. This car is very engaging, it's a very gradual breakaway. Uh, it's huge, huge fun. Now both the Cayman GT4 and the Boxer Spider are designed for driving on road and track. Um, but, the, you know, the Cayman is really more of the track car. Um, you're not going to be going on track and taking the roof off. And while you will want to rev this engine out, it, it's limited at 8,000 RPM. You don't have to. It's a four litre. It's got absolutely loads of torque. So I'm in fourth gear here, still pulling strong. You can probably see car moves around quite a bit. It's, it's quite a bumpy Scottish road, but it's fully in control. Well, that's our first look at the Cayman GT4 and its Boxster Spider brother. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, and if you want a full detailed review, go to completecar.ie.